Hello, I'm Audrey. Hi, I'm Kelly, and welcome back to our series, Pass the Plate. Today, we've asked Mr. Chiaffi, one of South High's science teachers, to share one of his family recipes. We will be making his Nana's chocolate, chocolate, chocolate cake. First, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then you're going to want to mix one box of Devil's Food Cake Mix, one package of instant chocolate pudding mix or fudge, half a cup of canola oil, half a cup of warm water, eight ounces of sour cream, four eggs. You're gonna do that for two and a half minutes. Once you've done that, you should then mix in two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips by hand. These chocolate chips can be regular chocolate chips or minis. Once you've done this, you want to pour this into a well-greased bunt pan. Usually to grease this, we use butter. This is my grandmother's recipe. Usually we would call her Nana. She passed away, sadly, a year ago. Leading up to that time, she was in not great health, so a little bit of time had passed where we weren't really having it. It was always a staple of my birthdays. I just remember it coming into my life at some point and just falling in love with it. In my 25 years of life, I have yet to have a dessert that has surpassed it. You're going to want to bake this for 45 to 50 minutes. Once you've done this, you can take care of the chocolate glaze. The ingredients for this are three quarters of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, three tablespoons of butter, and three tablespoons of light corn syrup. You're then going to take that mixture, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds in a plastic or glass container. It isn't necessary to use a microwave. All that's important is that you are heating the ingredients so that they can be sufficiently mixed. Stir it until it's about as thick as pancake syrup. Let it cool to almost room temperature. Still want it to be a little warm so that it will drizzle well. Then once the cake's done, you let it cool for about 30 minutes and invert it onto a cake plate. And you want to pour your chocolate glaze either on top of the cake or use spoonfuls to let it run down the sides. You don't want to pour it on the cake when it's too hot either. Once you've done that, you're all set. It is just as good, if not even better, once it's sat in the fridge. The cake is still nice and soft. The chocolate glaze on the outside gets nice and hard, so it's almost like this nice crust and it is delicious. It means a lot to me. It's the kind of small gesture that goes unspoken, but you realize only in her absence now how special it was to you and how much it said about how much she cared about me and how much she loved me and wanted to take care of me.